recently, it means just two days before, RBA have introduced or launched a new monetary policy. Okay, it's nothing but uh, what we call it as Operation Twist. Okay, so today we will be discussing rega this concept regarding Operation Twist. Before understanding this concept, you need to have an idea about a concept what is called as yield curve. Yield curve is nothing but a graph where it plots treasury bills or government securities over a time period. Okay, here two uh, you can see that this orange color is a three month treasury bill and green color is a 10 year government security. Okay, so have an idea government securities are having different maturities but 10 year government securities is considered as benchmark government securities where other interest rates are depending upon it. Okay, when you see this yield curve, okay, you can see some uh, interesting information that Okay, so this is a yield curve where you can see that almost in a, in, a, in, a, in a short time period, in a short time period from 1st August to 30th number, just have an idea. This is a data regarding uh, 2018 only. Don't uh, just, I have taken this graph for you to understand what is a yield curve. Okay, and you can see that, you can see that, okay, in, in uh, it's like almost in, uh, in November, this is a November 2018 yield curve. Okay, I want to show you what is the yield curve in relation to Indian government securities or treasury bills. Okay, so in relation to government securities, you can see that in 1st August 2018, uh, the yield was 6.44 and in 30th November, it was 7.06. Okay, so there is, there here in the case of this treasury bill, the yield is almost constant. Okay. But in the case of this government securities, there have been a steep increase over a few months period. Okay. Now here, one interesting thing what you need to understand is that, okay, by 30th number, there have been a, a huge difference between the uh, this short term treasury bill and 10 year government securities. Okay. So this is actually a uh, yield curve is all about. Okay. I have used this graph for you to understand what is a yield curve. Okay, now what happened in 2019? Okay, in 2019, it was something special. Okay, RBI monetary policy, you might have uh, read that for almost five bi monthly monetary policy, RBI have continuously reduced the repo rate. Okay, RBI have reduced in 2019 alone uh, around 135 basis point repo rate have been cut by RBI, and RBI was expecting. Uh, a greater monetary transmission where the bank will transmit this rate cut to the uh, borrowers but actually that didn't happen okay and so in or and very recently in december early december 2019 what happened is currently our repo rate is currently our repo rate is 5.15 percentage this is the current repo rate after the one uh, 135 basis point or 1.35 percentage rate cut okay and what happened is that this uh, short term treasury bill yield have gone below have gone below the repo rate and the long term government security have is continuously increasing especially after the latest december 2019 bi monthly monetary policy when rba went for a pause okay rba didn't cut the repo rate so suddenly after this uh, early december when the rbi didn't cut the repo rate cut suddenly there was an increase in the 10 year government security and this made okay so there are two issues here the 10 year in december 2019 10 year government security in december there have been a sudden increase after the bi monthly monetary policy as well as the short term treasury bill have gone below the repo rate so which is against the rbi objective of ensuring that the repo rate because rbi's repo rate is its main policy rate okay so now normally the all the government treasury bills or any short term instruments interest rate have to be above the repo rate so in order to address this twin problem rbi for the first time launched in December 19th in, uh, informed that they are going to come up with a special open market operation. 
Okay, so you are supposed to know what is open market operation, but I'll just explain you what is this. It is a monetary tool used by RBI where depending upon the liquidity condition, it will either buy or sell government securities. Okay, so here what is this special open market operation is that okay, the, from the examination point of view, what you need to understand is that you need to understand what is this operation twist is all about why it is called a twist okay and what is why it is called special open market operation and why it is so important is that this is for the first time okay rbi is using this instrument for the first time in december 2019 that makes this topic very very important for you okay so special open market operation normally either what rbi will do is either it will buy government securities or it will sell government securities but here in operation twist what RBI is doing is that simultaneously it will buy and sell government securities so this is the key word this is the key word about this operation twist where what is special about operation twist simultaneously RBI will buy government securities and sell government securities okay now interesting point to be noted down here is RBI will buy okay just connect it to the yield curve okay rbi will buy rbi will buy long term 10 year rbi will buy long term rbi will buy long term government securities and sell short term government securities okay so here in december 23rd in december 23rd 2019 RBI have conducted this special open market operation where 10,000 crore was the amount, the liquidity. RBI have uh, uh, performed this open market operation volume is this 10,000 crore where what RBI have done is RBI have purchased a government security. RBI have purchased a government security. You can see that 20, a government security which will mature in 2029. It's basically a 10 year government security which is having a coupon rate of 6.45 percentage okay so rbi at what it has done on december uh, uh, 23rd it purchased it purchased it purchased this 10 year government security and sold four see a government security four types of four securities means four types of securities which is having different coupon rate coupon rate is nothing but the interest rate mentioned in the bond Okay, which is having a maturity of, which is having a maturity of one year, 2020. Okay, try to understand that in Operation Twist, RBI have used only government securities. Short term government security, which is having, which will get matured in 2020. It sold for different, uh, in varying coupon rate government securities, it has sold and it has purchased, it has purchased what? It has purchased uh, 10 year government security so by doing so you can you just understand the concept okay just understand the concept of demand and supply okay when rbi have purchased the 10 year government securities okay i hope that everybody knows the concept of bond price and bond yield those who don't know i already released a video on bond price and bond yield just go through it okay anyway so by purchasing by purchasing this 10 year government security RBI have created a demand, RBI have created a demand for government securities and thereby its bond price have increased. When the bond price increases, there is an inverse relationship between bond price and bond yield. Okay, so the yield of the 10 year government securities have come down. Okay, just by announcement itself, it has come down and after, after this uh, December 23rd, it has almost reached to a level of uh, 6.657%. Okay, you can see that, okay, when this on December 23rd, when the, in December 23rd, RBI kept a cutoff yield where at this rate yield, RBI have purchased this 10 year government security and the market 10 year benchmark yield fell to 6.57. Okay, so RBI have, were able to attain its goal of what? that the 10 year government security yield fell to 6.57 so that is the major objective of this operation twist that by simultaneously buying long term government securities and selling short term securities what it tried to do is it want to bring down it want to lower the 
10 year government securities and it want to increase the short term securities interest rate okay so by doing so it is narrowing the gap between the short term and long term government securities interest rate this operation is what we call it as operation twist this we have taken this model or this small trip or policy tool was earlier used by a US Federal Reserve the central bank of USA way long back in 1961 and uh, just a few years back that is in 2011 and 12 both during US recessionary period uh, the US Federal Reserve have used this tool but in India this tool is being used for the first time and why it is one called twist is that actually in US it was there was a famous song is there in 1961 okay but in why this twist is called as it is trying to twist the yield curve okay that's why I explain what is the yield curve twist means it want to twist the yield curve where it want to lower the 10 year government security and it want to or the long term government security and it want to increase the it want to increase the short term government security so this twist in the yield curve is what we call it as operation uh, twist it is nothing but a special open market operation this if a question comes this will be the question that it is a special open market operation where simultaneously RBI will be buying long term government security and it will be selling short term government security and one advantage or few advantages that okay see I told you RBI uh, could not able to attain the goal of monetary transmission uh, in the sense that even though RBI have reduced the uh, repo rate by 135 basis point in 2019, bank have cut only totally nearly to 45 to 50 percentage. Okay, so RBI indirectly, without through bank, want to influence the 10-year government security, which is the benchmark uh, year, the government security which influence other interest rate. Okay, so by lowering the 10-year government security, RBI will attain the goal of where, especially for home, uh, home loan customer, people who are taking home loan or uh, especially for infrastructure loan long term investment or for the government borrowing okay government is primarily borrowing through 10 year government securities okay so by lowering the 10 year government security yield it is helping the government borrowing at a lower interest rate it is helping the consumer spending especially in relation to housing loan or a business sentiment it will increase the because long term uh, loan for infrastructure and long term loan which is linked to 10 year government security will come down by lowering this uh, 10 year government security in that way it is trying to boost the economy okay so operation the main aim of uh, operation test is to boost the economy currently we know that we are in a slowdown okay so in different way they can ask the question and for further reading you can refer our telegram channel where uh, you can just search uh, the concept operation test you will understand it from the examination point of view only two key thing you remember in mind okay what is the concept okay the concept is simultaneous buying of long term government securities and selling short term government securities and what is basically the objective behind this operation twist it is mainly to boost the economy okay so just have an idea this concept if a question comes you can easily answer it okay thank you